the KT News. Now, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has embarked on efforts to boost rice markets for the Low and Zoya Irrigation Scheme project that cuts across both Siaya and Busia counties. The project that had initially delayed due to compensation issues is now on course with phase one that will benefit more than 12,000 rice farmers underway by early next month. As Bromwell Buira reports, Siaya County government has already set up a rice milling factory in readiness for the lucrative venture. The principal secretary state department of trade was in Siaya County for tripartite discussions between the state department of irrigation and the Siaya County government aimed at ensuring better collection, storage and exposure to the market of rice products from the low and Zoya irrigation scheme that is almost complete. The irrigation principal secretary, Ephantas Kimotho, while on a visit to the Siaya County headquarters, spoke highly of how farmers will be able to generate an estimated revenue of 4.8 billion annually once the project that has phase one almost done is completed. Uh, this particular project, well actualized, it has a potential of generating 5 billion in this economy. But for us to be able to generate the 5 billion, we need to have several linkages. And that's why you find us today here with the county government. We have been negotiating with them. We expect the county government to help in the formation of our county irrigation development units. Kimoto says the country has a target of producing at least 440,000 metric tons in the next three years, an ambition that has equally caught the eye of the Ministry of Trade. Currently, the country has a rice deficit of 700,000 metric tons. In this particular project, we expect to generate at least 56,000 50,000 metric tons. That will go a long way in reducing, towards reducing the deficit of rice in the country. In this region, we expect to reduce rice deficit by approximately 30%. And as we complete the infrastructural stage of the project, we are also keen to ensure that the markets work correctly and that incomes can be realized from this project. According to CIA Governor James Orengo, the project is a game changer not only to the region and said his administration had already completed the construction of a rice milling plant in Siriwo as they wait for the completion of the Low and Zoe irrigation project. Well, for Sia, this is a transformative project uh, because we, we have not had projects of this magnitude, particularly in the agricultural sector. And... Um, for the many things we are doing as a CI county government, where we made a bold statement that agriculture is going to be the cornerstone of our uh, development agenda that uh, must be transformative and impactful. The project, which is being funded by World Bank, KFW and the government of Kenya, will elevate Busia and Siaya counties to become the food baskets of Nyanza and western regions as the 3.9 billion Low and Zoe irrigation project comes to a completion. Bramwell Bire, Ketanews in Siaya. Thank you, Bramwell. Let's revisit that story about